Good afternoon, Coach Slack here, January 1st, 2021, New Year's Day. I'm uh, going to do a, a video today on uh, a life of a saint that we celebrate today on the Orthodox calendar, St. Basil, certainly one of my favorites. Um, you know, just I've poured over his readings. I've spent weeks, months, you know, several hours reading and rereading his works, um, especially the uh, on the Holy Spirit, just a wonderful writing that he did. His contributions to Christianity and humanity in general are just uh, countless. Um, but also I want to mention before I get into that uh, more deeply that it's a Greek Orthodox tradition to, um, you know, cut the vasilopita bread this one was made to me by uh my, our great friend uh Deidre Kazos and so we're going to cut this today um Vasilopita translated would be basil's you know Vasilopita so Vasil Opita uh basil um ba basically I think the most direct translation would be basil's pie but like we know a pita bread so like basil's bread and uh anyhow and there's a wonderful story I'm not gonna you know, get uh, too deeply into that because I got another direction I want to head with the video. But look it up, uh, the story of Vasilopita and how St. Basil used the bread. But uh, the Vasilopita that we cut, there'll be a gold coin in there. And um, we'll cut it and give it to all the members of the family. And then uh, it's said that um, whoever uh, gets the piece with the coin in it will have many blessings in the, in the coming year. So... I mean, but we all have blessings, but it's a great tradition and it's wonderful to experience and to, um, you know, uh, just participate in year after year with our family. So anyhow, uh, today's reading, I'm going to actually not read about the life of St. Basil, but I'm going to read from one, one of his works to give you a small snippet, snippet or example of uh, just what I find so fascinating about his style. And of course, this is translated to English. Um, but it still nonetheless uh, captures pretty well, um, you know, the thoroughness, the conciseness, uh, the way, that, the style of his writing. And so I, I'm getting this from the um, Nicene and post-Nicene Fathers, second series, volume eight, uh, Basil, trying to get it to focus there, Basil, letters and selected writings. So anyhow, I'm going to read to you. From probably his most famous work, uh, just a couple paragraphs, the Hexa Emeron. So again, uh, translated, um, you know, Hexa Emeron. So the Hexa. So um, Xe, you know, the root word for Hexa would be six, and uh, Emeron is day. So the six days, and maybe you could already deduce uh, from what I'm talking about. And other Saint Ambrose, I believe, did um, a Hexa Emeron, and I, I know that there's others. Um, uh, it's slipping my mind right now, but I think Julian maybe did one, the apostate, and it's a talking about Genesis and the creation. So anyhow, uh, let me read you just a couple paragraphs um, from St. Basil's Hexie Merlon. <clears throat> what language can attain to the marvels of the Creator? What ear could understand them? And what time would be sufficient to relate them? Let us say then with the prophet, O Lord, how manifold are thy works, in wisdom hast thou made them all. We shall not be able to say in self-justification that we have learnt useful knowledge in books, since the untaught law of nature makes us choose that which is advantageous to us. Do you know what, um, do you know what good you ought to do your neighbor? The good that you expect from him yourself. Do you know what is evil? That which you would not wish another to do to you. Neither botanical researches nor the experience of simples have made animals discover those which are useful to them, but each knows naturally what is salutary and marvelously, marvelously appropriates what suits its nature. Virtues exist in us also by nature, and the soul has affinity with them not by education, but by nature herself. We do not need lessons to hate illness, but by ourselves we we repel what afflicts us. The soul has no need of a master to teach us to avoid vice. Now all vice is a sickness of the soul as virtue is its health. Thus those have defined health well who have called it a regularity in the discharge of natural functions, a definition that can be applied without fear to the good condition of the soul. Thus without having need of lessons, 
the soul can attain by herself to what is fit and conformable to nature. Hence it comes that temperance everywhere is praised, justice is an honor, courage admired, and prudence the object of all aims. Virtues which, contain, <clears throat> virtues which concern the soul more than health concerns the body. Children love your parents, and you, parents, provoke not your children to wrath. Does not nature say the same? Paul teaches us nothing new. He only tightens the links of nature. If the lioness loves her cubs, if the she-wolf fights to defend her little ones, what shall man say who is unfaithful to the precept and violates nature herself? Or the son who insults the old age of his father? Or the father whose second marriage has made him forget his first children? So again, just a couple paragraphs um, you know, to give you a, a, an example of uh, St. Basil, the style that he writes with. Uh, the thoroughness, um, it's just amazing. So again, this was from the uh, Hexia Meron. Um, and also, I would highly suggest his writings on the, uh, the spirit uh, also in this book. Um, just amazing. I remember when I first got into it, I was telling my wife, I was like, oh, this is, I would read and reread. I mean, he spends pages uh, in the beginning of uh, his writing on the spirit really... Um, just defining language, uh, you know, <laughs> the words with, through, and, and just spends paragraphs upon paragraphs, you know, divulging into uh, the meanings behind these words so that when he finally starts writing about the Holy Spirit and the Spirit, um, that you know where he's coming from with the language that he's using. So again, today, January 1st, we always celebrate St. Basil, uh, Greek Orthodox tradition, the Kati Vasilopita, and uh, really just you know, uh, ring in the new year um, with joy and um, expectation to uh, just uh, live the best lives that we can all the time and uh, remain prayerful and remembering, um, you know, always our God with love and our fellow humans with love, um, you know, as God loves us, immeasurable, and uh, also looking to his saints as examples of this uh, for wisdom and, you um, and, uh, you know, the true knowledge and virtues that uh, make us more whole humans, you know, and hopefully to become holy like the saints. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.